Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have the Four of Wands. We have the Three of Swords. We have Divinely Guided here. We have Page of Cups. That's where I want these to be. I'm going to move these over a little bit. Better. Okay. Clarify the Four of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Clarify the Three of Swords. We have Cannot Be Trusted. Mm. Clarify divinely guided. We have magician. Aries, Virgo, Gemini energy. We have seven of cups. Clarifying the page of cups. Eight of pentacles on the back of the deck. So this is very clear to me. All right. Um... Somebody is wanting to, somebody has been going through the dark night of the soul here. And I feel like a lot of things has become clear to someone or since there's been a separation between the two of you. I feel like somebody has been slowly moving towards you to want to work on something with you. Okay. Um, for some of you, they've been trying to work on either becoming single or their, their independence, like their stability, getting their money together. Um, maybe they felt like they needed to spend some time alone or single or something like that. For some of you, they're hoping that you are single, you know, when they want to come in and give you that last pinnacle. Because, you know, the nine of pinnacles, you know, the only thing that's keeping it from being the, you know, the ten of pinnacles is that one pinnacle. Well, there's somebody coming towards you that wants to give you that last pinnacle to give you the ten of pinnacles. Um, I feel like this person's going to kind of arrive very suddenly and they're going to be talking about marriage and they're going to be talking about commitment and settling down and being a family and, you know, all of that, right? Something long-term and stable. But I feel like there's definitely been some damage done in this connection. I feel like this person either put you in a third party situation, they hurt you in some way and it definitely could have been third party. Um, it could have been them making you false promises, selling you a dream, um, they could even took and taken advantage of you in some way. Okay. It could have been all those things, but I do see that you guys don't trust this person. I do feel like, um, you and this person were obviously meant to meet. This is a twin flame reading. Okay. You guys were meant to encounter each other. Um, the, the divine is, you know, definitely has their hand in this situation. And, um, it says what you want, wants you. So for whoever's reading, this is, this is for somebody that hurts you. And you don't trust them, but there is a part of you that still, you know, you wish that you could trust them. You wish that, you know, y'all could have been together or you could have, you guys could still make things work or that things didn't happen the way that they did so that you guys could be together in the right way. Um, for some of you guys have manifested this, like you guys maybe prayed at some point that this person would get their shit together and they would come towards you correct. And I do see them doing it um coming in with an apology i do I, I keep getting this element of surprise like you guys are not expecting this when it comes in um and maybe being a little bit confused um they could be coming in you know with an apology or an offer or whatever this is and i just feel like you guys are gonna have a choice to make okay um tell me more we have the emperor so that's divine masculine energy aries energy tell me more we have the Page of Pentacles, yeah. What about the Page of Pentacles? That somebody, this person wants a new chance with you. Yeah, they want. This is somebody that wants a reconciliation with you. They want another opportunity with you. When they maybe stepped into this Emperor energy, this Divine Masculine energy, Temperance can be reconciliation energy. For some of you, you waited a really long time for this person to step into this energy to step up. All right, um, tell me more. We have nine. I'm telling you, somebody is viewing you as their nine of cups, their wish fulfillment. Wow, guys. What a catch. Wanting to conquer, fear of losing you. Somebody feels like you are their happily ever after and they don't want to lose you. Yeah, somebody does not want to lose you here. But I do feel like they, yeah, when you were dealing with this person, see, they were unawakened. This is somebody that has awakened to this connection with unawakened and the Ace of Swords. 
there's been some type of breakthrough. There's been some type of clarity when it comes to the love and the feelings and the emotions and what this connection means to somebody. Because it says, does it totally understand their love for you? But then the Ace of Swords is about clarity. So now they do totally understand how they feel about you and what they want with you. And they probably have realized this through the dark night of the soul. Um, yep. Wow, guys. This is a very clear reading. The Hermit. Yeah, this person has been doing some soul searching, spending some time alone. Virgo energy. Um, you know, reflect. Wow, guys. I'm telling you. The Eight of Pentacles. This is somebody that wants to work on a relationship. This is extremely positive. Now, the only thing that's not positive is that this person definitely did betray you or they hurt you. They did something that has made, shattered the trust that you had for them. But do I see that this person has good intentions? Definitely. Okay, so, you know, we do have this rejection on the back of the deck. What's behind that? Five of Cups. So they, this is somebody that regrets being an indecision and resisting this connection and letting their ego keep them from you know choosing this connection um uh, i feel like somebody yeah for some of you they chose money over love or they had some legal issues going going on um that they had to sort out and that was maybe putting a strain on their finances but they definitely want to reignite things with you yeah they definitely want to reignite things with you um is there anything else that they need to know out of the tarot this is very straight to the point is there anything else they need to know out of the tarot so we have the nine of swords somebody's losing sleep over you heavy in regret heavy in their sorrow heavy in remorse this is somebody that is truly sorry and i do feel like are they gonna six of swords what about six of swords or if you guys have been stressed the fuck out over this person in this situation spirit says better days are ahead all right things will improve betrayal it's like you guys yeah it's like this is gonna move out of like an energy of betrayal here what about the ten of swords the chariot yeah, you guys are going to overcome this. Yeah, the star. Yeah, exactly. I told, that's what I was going to say. The worst is over. Yeah, the, the worst is over. With the nine of swords, the ten of swords. Things are about to look up. Yeah, well, I'm telling you guys. What did I say? Ten of pentacles. This person is one of like, They know what they want with you. Long lasting union, marriage, solid foundation. So what are they going to do about it? That's what we need to know. I mean, I see them coming towards you. They've just been coming towards you very slowly. Okay, so we have money focus here. And we have rejection. Okay, five of cups, rejection. So maybe what's keeping them from coming towards you right now is, first of all, they have a lot of regret here, right? For some of you, they've gone through some type of financial loss. For Yeah, I do feel like they're working on their independence or like their stability. I'm going to be honest. They, I kind of feel like they think that if they come towards you, at, like if they came towards you at the moment or right after they had this awakening about what they wanted with you, that they would have got rejected because there was something going on where... The, something about money was affecting the love this situation okay and they've been slowly trying to work on that yeah there's like a process here okay tell me about the money focus card or money we have four of swords somebody maybe also felt like they needed to or this is you guys somebody is more focused on money than they are on love yeah six of cups the moon the empress Somebody, yeah, you guys walked away from this person. Somebody walked away from somebody. It's almost like somebody wants to, um, what is being walked away from here? The three of pentacles. Mm. Some type of work partnership or somebody, yeah, awakening. What is being walked away from here? The king of swords. Healing. I mean, they could have been walking away from somebody. If they were undecided about, like, they were conflicted between you and somebody else or you and another path. I feel like they are, they're wanting something that's more meaningful. And I feel like they feel like whatever the other situation was, was not meaningful to them. All right. I feel like it was very, it had something to do with money. Okay. That's been coming out a lot for like the past month, two months, whatever. It's been coming out. Okay. I feel like, the, I feel like whoever's reading this is or whoever storyline this is that keeps coming out. Your person has been going through the dark night of the soul for a while now. Like, it's not anything. I mean, this it could be for some of you that they just are not entering it. But I feel like your person has been going through that process for quite some time now. At least a couple months. Like, they've been going through this process of really figuring things out. It could be because when you guys walked away from them. Because I do see that somebody walked away. Either they walked away or you walked away. But I'm kind of feeling like you walked away. If they walked away, they, they walked away to focus on some type of financial situation or a situation that, we, you know, they were benefiting off of financially. Okay. Um, let's get some uh, more clarity here.
The only thing that I'm not quite liking, now to be quite honest with you guys, is that I don't see a whole lot of cups here. Yeah, I don't see a whole lot of cups here. I see that they know that they want something solid and long term with you, but feelings and emotions, like, yeah, you guys were definitely dealing with somebody that could have been a player, okay? Like, when you were dealing with them, they were a player. They weren't sure if they were ready to settle down. That could have been what they were juggling, settling down, being a player. And I feel like now, it says the play, player lifestyle that wants to find everything they, they, that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. So it's like now somebody, all somebody wants is you when they used to want everybody. It's like that one song with Fat Joe and Chris Brown. It's like, what is that song? Um, Another Round, I think it's called, or whatever. <laughs> Anyway. yep i'm telling you this is very straight to the point what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible so this is somebody that used to want everybody but now they only want you huh we are helping this connection evolve to see things as they really are and bring light to all that has been hidden so this is somebody you guys thought would never probably change. And that's probably why you throw in the, throw in the towel with them. Yeah, they, they wish that they would have met you when they were like in a different place, a different person, different circumstances, different mindset. Because now that they're starting to awaken to this connection, they know that there's a possibility that you won't want to be with them again. And they see now what the two of you guys could have been and they messed it up. They may not get a chance to have that with you anymore because they were too busy indulging in their dark side. Yeah. They have a dark side that no one else knows and feels it's their true side, but too afraid to show you. Mm -hmm. Telepathy here. The telepathy you share cannot be ignored. Your words are slowly leaving imprints upon their heart. We have wishing well, though. See, they're wishing and hoping. Now that they see what the two of you guys could be together, um, I feel like they're very distracted, too. Like, they saw the potential in you, but they didn't really see it, see it. You know what I mean? Because they were too focused on other things. But, yeah, there's a lot of excitement in the air. You awaken, awakened in your life in them that has been lost in a field of possibilities. Yeah, old child. Yeah. I told you. They have never really built. They've never formed a relationship with somebody that was deep and meaningful, intimate, not sexual. They haven't formed an intimate relationship with somebody. Even if they were married, even if they were in a long-term relationship, it never was deep. It was very surface level. But they didn't feel a deep connection. Or they didn't allow themselves to feel deep connections with those people because... We have old wounds here. Their unhealed childhood wounds prevent them from forming meaningful and long-lasting relationships. So this is somebody that even if they got married or they did get into committed relationships, it didn't last very long. Or they, again, it was just very surface level. It wasn't anything very deep or meaningful to them. Yeah, they did. See, they did choose somebody over you. They chose somebody literally, guys, that was not as meaningful to them. That they didn't feel as deep of a connection to as you because they weren't ready for it. They weren't ready for what they felt for you. They were more comfortable in this energy of these, this like surface level, superficial type shit. They chose someone else over you and though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. Could have been strictly sexual for some of you. Yeah, but I'm telling you, potential. They're deep in their thoughts about you, realizing their distractions. What did I just say, guys? Prevented them from seeing the potential in you. I, guys, yeah, back and forth. Yeah, it's like they, they were very conflicted. They are trying to make sense of this connection, but their emotions swing back and forth between two extremes. Like you could have, you could have felt like at sometimes this, at some point this person was very passionate and they were all in and they wanted this, and the next minute they were going, they were very hot and cold. You know what I mean? So yeah, music can be significant to this connection. Music brings them closer to you. They, certain songs remind them of just how special your connection was to them. They are clearing negative ancestral patterns that were passed down through the generations. Don't rush the journey. Yeah, something about this person, the way this person was raised, the way their mom and dad was raised, and their grandparents were raised that has been like kind of like a contributing factor to this as well coming apart meeting you was unexpected I, I kept telling you there's something unexpected here i feel like meeting you was unexpected i feel like when this person comes in with this communication to try to like win you back over it's going to be unexpected too very passionate they're coming towards you meeting you was unexpected you changed their whole world forever feeling lost as they lose their old identity yep and then it's leading us back to that player card their identity was a player that's who they identified as guys at some point like their whole life like this card says where's that showing itself to me look at this when that you found this person when they were in a player era or they could have always been a player right but it says their soul recognized their soul from the moment they met you they knew you were the one they'd been waiting for but 
this is this is who they were this was their persona the player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you so and what did that card say when they when you met when they met you meeting you was unexpected you changed their whole world forever feeling lost as they lo lose their old identity which is this wow you have triggered the player to to get their shit to change your twin's a player it's very clear here or they were at least they're they're kind of like you know shedding that that you know those those layers and they're shedding that version of themselves now so let's take a look to see more let's do a few of these i guess um again i'm not still i mean i'm not seeing a whole lot of feelings and emotions do i you can be with a very again we do see this person has issues with intimacy and forming deep and meaningful connections so i feel like that's that's what's really this person's struggling with that being able to open up be vulnerable let you into their, their heart right for some of you they ghosted you or somebody got ghosted I'm telling, okay, so for some of you, I told you this person has been going through the dark night of the soul for at least a few months. And then I look at the, we have the fall, September 22nd through November 6th. And then it says, feeling empty and lost without twin, experiences dark night of the soul. So Spirit is saying that they, they started going into the dark night of the soul sometime between September 22nd and November 6th. We did have a lot of, um things going on in the universe we had like we had the 1010 10 portal in october what else do we have we had we had we were in eclipse season around that time frame um i mean we had a lot of stuff going on so i think saturn retrograde ended at the beginning of november too yeah we have saturn retrograde going on during that time too so yeah feeling pain and hopelessness and the confusing situation yeah they were in that energy of like feeling like there was some word desolate or like there's no hope. Like they were starting to realize some things and then they started feeling, they were like kind of like, what was me, pity me, whatever. Feeling unwanted and self blamed. They started really beating themselves up during that time frame. Uh, of course, odious opinions. You're, somebody was maybe telling them that your connection wasn't real or that. Or is making saying something to them that was making them think that the connection wasn't real or that this wasn't love or something like that. Unrelatable, unrelatable and unsympathetic advice. They were taking advice from people, what I just heard. They were taking advice from people that don't even know how to handle their own love life the right way. That they don't even that don't even know how to have healthy relationships with people. And those were the people that they were like, you know, listening to. Easily influenced by others and their viewpoints, unpleasant opinions, creating doubt and denial of the connection. There are people placing doubt in their mind. They feel dumb for li listening to this now. Somebody has a hard time listening to their heart. And, and it looks like they're very impressionable. We have fragmentation of the soul. Significant drama from the past. Irrational, unexplained fears. Checking out in certain situations. Overreactions to seemingly small problems. Yeah. 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 I don't understand our connection the way I feel when I'm with you. I'm not ready for whatever this is. I can't handle this right now. I'd rather not think about it. Like I said earlier. Juggling. They tried to juggle you or having too much on their plate, dealing with multiple obligations at one time, unable to make decisions based on confused emotions. Heavy on that. They weren't sure how they were feeling about you or they were confused. So they were just trying to like, yeah, there it is again, guys. Your person is definitely going through the dark night of the soul. Enhanced awareness of identity, an extremely difficult and painful period. Pers and personal and deep development of oneself. That's what they've been going through. And that's why they're coming out saying you, they were denying this connection. Now, all of a sudden, they're about to come in and be like, all right, I'm ready to do this. I, I want you. I want us. I want us to be a family. I want to settle down. There's nobody else that I want ever. Like, that's how they're coming towards you. To, they, they felt like th this connection was just really intense for them. Too fast, too soon. There is another person involved, not ready for this deep connection. Wrong timing, can't or won't commit, afraid of hurting you or hurting themselves. Yeah. Yeah, they ran. I don't know what you want from me. I love you. Okay, so that's the first time I've seen a card that says I love you. But I can't give you what you need. I don't have the time or the capacity to understand our connection. It's best to leave it alone. So instead, they knew that they loved you, but they didn't understand it or it was too intense for them. So they they ran. And that's you guys are at separation. Someone runs away. 
honeymoon phase ends, insecurities and attachment issues begin to appear, causing a rift in the relationship. But now we have Chaser here too. So at some point, what is Chaser? Victim. See, I told you. They're in this like, what was me? Like, victim mentality. Feels stuck and has a negative attitude. Thinks life is against them and has difficulty coping. Believes they have no control over things that happen to them and blames others. Okay? What does that do with my collective? You guys can begin with a Gemini. Winter time. So that's, oh, what about winter time? Ego driven. I don't like this. Acts in one's own self-interest, driven by a need to prove oneself better than others. Does not truly love the person, but loves more what the person gives. So what's that doing? So that's what they're coming towards you in that energy? I don't get it. False flame. Okay, so what is going on in the wintertime with them and this person? Ooh, they feel stuck with this person. February 7th through March 19th. That's right now. So they may be right now, like in the present moment, they feel like they don't love that person, but they love what that person's doing for them. Oh, this is messy. Yeah, they're with this false flame. They know, yeah, it causes you, it says this person causes them emotional distress and creates conflicts, is unsure of their feelings toward them, and somebody is giving more than the other person, which I feel like this third party is giving more to them than they're giving to them. Yeah, they do not help you grow, you feel uncomfortable around them. So that's the situation that they've gotten themselves into, which, and they're in turmoil. I am bounded physically and mentally and spiritually. I feel there is no way out from where I am. I feel in prison because of my own doing. I'm trying to find my inner demons, but it's just so difficult at times. So, okay, give me one more. So, that's what's going on right now. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. And this came out like this. Didn't I say they were hot and cold? Oh, my gosh, this reading. I was always so hot and cold with you, and I know that was confusing, but our connection was too much for me to handle, and that was the only way I could deal with it. All right, so what's happening in regards to their connection? Yes, we know this is a twin flame. It's on the back of the deck. It's on the back of the deck. Let's see. I became inspired in your presence, your energy, and your beauty. Without you, I'm missing my tools to create my ma next masterpiece. Okay, so what is happening next? It says, I used to limit my goals and place myself in a box based on what others, yeah, what other, what I was told I was capable of. Since meeting you, my views have expanded and I'm trying to dream big because of you, I know I deserve more. So what are they going to do? Yeah, they see you as their, I told you guys, this is what they're trying to work on, the emotions. I'm working on my divine feminine side. I know I need to be more nurturing, understanding, and compassionate towards you, towards myself and others. I want to be more soft, loving, and especially towards you. So, give me, I just need to know what's going to happen next. We are going to take this over to the extended reading. So, we have soulmate here. Needs are, okay, and we have fulfilled. Needs are equally met. Challenges you to be, be more giving and loving. Deeply connected without the codependency or neediness. I feel you are my equal. You make me want to be a better person, not just for you, but also for myself. You challenge me to change and grow. And we have fulfilled completion or achievement, feeling happy and satisfied with one's life, going after what you want and getting what you want out of life. So, mm. Mm. 